And now, the vertex tool. Every polygon is made up of vertexes, and that's basically these corners here. And later we'll talk about the edges. I'm gonna hit V for vertex. And now I get these little dots here. I'm gonna lasso these two dots here, and I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag them down. Now they're both selected, so I can drag these guys down. And I wouldn't be able to do that if these weren't separated. Now I'm gonna drag the other side and do that. I'm gonna grab these guys, drag them out, and now I'm making an even more interesting shape. In general, you should save often when you're doing this. One of the best things about Trench Broom is that it doesn't really allow you to make an invalid brush, but I will say if a program's going to crash, it's gonna be during vertex manipulation, just from experience. So it's not a bad idea to just hit Control S and save. I just want you to be able to see how you can control each individual vertex and make really interesting shapes without a lot of hassle. So there's a lot more you can do with vertex manipulation here. I'm gonna press V and you can actually just drag vertices onto other vertices. So now that's kind of merged those two, I'm gonna undo that. Drag this guy over here, it will snap to that one and merge on top of it. Now you can select them by just clicking on them individually. If you wanna merge a vertex onto another one, without dragging it, you hold down Shift and Alt and click on your target. So that will do it automatically and we'll do it over here as well. I click to select this guy, Shift, Alt, merges those vertices. We're getting some funkiness with the textures, but this is an extreme example. You're, I don't think you're gonna manipulate one brush that much, but it just shows you the power of the program. Let me give you another example of moving these vertices. So I've got this plate here. I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Control and Alt and dragging up. And I wanna bevel these edges, so I'm gonna hit V. And I'm just gonna drag this here. And now I've got very simple beveled edges there. I'm gonna undo that. If you hold down Shift, you can look at these grid points and add vertices by clicking and holding and dragging. So if you wanna drag something out like so. Another thing you can do is, let's say we wanna make more of a pyramid shape here. Hold down Shift, click and hold, then hit Alt and drag up. Before we move on, I wanna show you something. Some of the features are kind of new and have changed in the 2.0 release. So I was kind of testing and I discovered something that I wanna to bring to your attention. I wanna make a sarcophagus shape and I'm holding down shift and I'm gonna place this vertex here. I'm holding down shift, I'm gonna left click and alt and drag it up. So it goes up 16 units because I'm on grid 16. And as you can see, there's uh, the brush has been split and this is just the way trench broom works. So now I wanna bring up this other side. So I'm gonna hold this down, do the same thing. I'm holding down shift, I'm left clicking, I'm holding down alt and I'm gonna raise it up 16 units. But now as you can see here, the brush is still split the original way. And that kind of caught my attention and I was, hmm, what you, what's this all about? Now, I'm gonna show you a mode I haven't really shown yet in these tutorials and it's gonna, I hope you're not mad at me. <laughs> but basically hit spacebar and that toggles to the 2D mode. I'm going to explain later why I waited so long to show you 2D. But for now, what I've noticed is if you look at the side view, there's a weird alignment issue. Even though I was on the grid, there's an alignment issue. It's an easy thing to fix and I wanted to bring it to your attention because when you're working with vertices, you can have these issues and this is the quick fix. You go to the edit menu and you, you snap vertices to grid. And that will, if we go back into 3D, you'll see that now there's those two uh, lines that we're projecting out are gone. And so this is now perfectly on the grid. When we're finished with the brush uh, section, I'm gonna do a user interface tutorial that kind of covers all the things that you need to know about 2D mode, etc. One other thing you can do with vertex mode is create terrain. So I'm gonna clip this brush into uh, two triangles. I'm gonna change my grid size to 64 and I'm gonna copy it a few times. Now in order to select all these, you can hold down control and just drag across. I waited a while to show you that because it's easy to mess up and move something. You're like, oops. So you hold down control, drag, holding it down. You kind of paint 
the selection. And we're gonna go to vertex mode, change the grid size back down to eight. We're gonna alt click these and drag them up. Trench broom will split the brush faces as needed. So it'll make new polygons so that nothing is broken, nothing becomes an invalid brush. This is a little tiny section I made. You'd probably use a much larger area, but you can see how fast you can make terrain using the vertex tool. That's it for the vertex tool. Next up, the edge tool. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you on the next tutorial.